Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a pick a card reading on what are they telling about you to their friends. So I'm going to choose two piles for you. Pile one is going to be a toothbrush, pile one, and pile two is going to be toothpaste. So pile one and pile two. And let's get started with my uh, toothbrush people. <laughs> so pile one, let's see. What is this person, whoever you have in mind, what are they telling? What are they telling to others about you? Okay, we have three of pentacles, ten of pentacles, five of cups, five of swords, knight of cups, and the two of cups. What is this person telling others about you, my beautiful pile one? Let me just take a look at this. This person is saying that they could have been trying to get um, involved with you romantically and things haven't completely worked out the way they thought it was going to work out. This person could have tried to um, lure you in, charm you. There's something about that, trying to kind of build something up, but not being fully engaged or fully committed. But this person has been trying maybe to get your attention, has been trying to get you into a relationship into this connection that wasn't completely um, accepted by you so you have had another idea or you had some kind of other um, um, I would say standards about yourself about what you expect with the Ace of Pentacles you accept the best you only accept the best and expect the best coming from this person so this person has been saying that somehow they sabotaged this connection or they sabotage something here um, because they weren't uh, speaking um, the truth and actually they spoke it it's not because they were trying to um, be um, deceitful but it's because they weren't very truthful with themselves eight of cups they're saying that you follow your intuition we have the high priestess we have the devil and the hermit you follow your intuition and you don't let people get you um, involved in things that are low vibe you don't let people involve involve you in things in love vibe because you do have so much wisdom and you follow intuition through and through your intuition has always been part of who you are and you have so much um, depth when it comes to your emotions they've seen you understand others um read the room and be so um um perceptive when it comes to people around you they also notice that you only follow what's right for you with this nine of cups this is someone who has a lot of admiration for you and they said you know what pile one has inspired me to be better and to be i'm here and cleaner when it comes to my vibration to my um energy level i need to be cleaner so this person is trying to cleanse their energy from anything low vibe from this devil energy so this person could have gotten involved in something that wasn't uh right for them the emperor yes and we also have the fool this person says you inspire them to be uh, this emperor energy to take charge and to be uh I'm here and starting this year, they want to be at your level. They want to actually be able to show up in a level that is um, finally deserving of you. Okay, so they want you to choose them with the two of wands, but to choose them because they are high quality, because they actually respond and are part of your standards, not lower. You don't lower you're not ready to lower your standards with this magician and they've seen you be so confident and they've seen you also go through things that are very difficult and move on from them. Yes, six of wands. You've been very successful about healing a big part of yourself that was very much damaged or was very much wounded in so many ways. This is something they've been telling their friends and they're so proud of you middle seven of swords yes but they also say that they were people who have stabbed you in the back who have deceived this have been deceived uh, deceitful with you but you still moved on and you still yes you still followed your heart and led others inspired others because you had a great heart we have 444 in the clock i hope this was helpful let me know in the comment section and we're going to pile two Pile two, you chose the toothpaste. Let's see, what are they telling their friends, whoever this person is? What do we have here? We have a two of cups, we have a five of swords, seven of wands, 
What are they telling their friends? Two of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. This person is telling their friends that um, there was a situation here that you could have just come out of it, maybe recently, or I'm here in the past two years. There was a situation when it comes to uh, people around you was very toxic and it kept you in a, a lingering or kept you in a state where it was almost a stalemate you weren't able to make up your mind about these people sometimes they would show up sometimes they wouldn't sometimes you could able you could be uh, relying on them other times they wouldn't and this was up and down a lot of up and down with the wheel of fortune you've gone through a lot of up and down and you had to stand up for yourself at some point this is something they really admire with the ace of pentacles they feel that you look so much better you, there was a big glow up about who you are, um, I'm hearing um, your energy, your aura changed and this person can sense it and can feel it. They might not say it that way, but they say to others that you have glown up so much because of this. With the Ace of Pentacles, you, uh, you have taken over, you have taken charge of who you are, you've defended yourself and you have taken over your life in order to manifest the best. We have the Lovers, the Five of Wands, and the hangman they also say that there was a possibly a love situation here that you had to struggle there was a lot of struggle especially when it comes to having something stable long term and i'm hearing worthy of you there was some struggles there yes this person maybe you could have been with someone this person wasn't able to give you what you needed and you decided to let go of it or you decided to to put a stop to this energy Seven of Pentacles, yes, you guys could have been in a long-term relationship that wasn't moving forward and you guys could have moved on from it and this person is speaking about it and there is a potential here of a fresh new start when it comes to love and they say this is so beautiful because they can see your heart opening up like a flower. This person can see it now, they can see this fresh start, they can see this glow up even though they know possibly about your past or they can sense that your past could have been heavy. They see that with you, there's so much success as well coming in their life. Just by being around you, they can actually manifest the best in their life. Just by being around you, your aura, your glow up is um, helping them move forward as well. And people who used to drain you, you let go of them. We had the nine of pentacles, the five of pentacles, the four of swords, four of wands you could have even lended some money to someone and this person was never uh, fully uh, reliable to give it back um yes nine of swords they could have been very stressful to you and you guys could have decided to move away from this person or these people they also say that um they say that you have healed a part of you that could have been pushing away money you know, pushing away money, pushing away abundance, a part of you that you were not maybe able to get a handle of at some point in your life, but you have healed it. You have healed it. You were able to kind of understand it. There's 444 again I'm picking up. We have six of pentacles. And because of that, universe is going to give you back what you deserve. It's going to be a lot more, um, I'm hearing generous when it comes to your finances and your career path. The moon. King of Swords, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. They say that there was a conversation here that cleared a lot for them. A lot of things that they used to hold on to, a lot of things that they didn't understand about themselves, a lot of things they used to project onto others, a lot of things that they had subconsciously hidden about themselves and they didn't really want to take a look at. You came almost like as a shadow work. You showed them their shadow and they were able to move on with the Wheel of Fortune. They say that they were very, very lucky to have met you when they were going through a lot of trouble, especially it could be about their work or their finances. And you've brought a lot of stability and you help them see the truth and actually be much more hopeful and wishful when it comes to their future. So they really admire you, they care about you. And this person really sees you as someone who brought a lot of goodness and um, happiness and passion in their life. So let me know in the comment section if this resonated. I love you guys so much. See you later.